my childhood was uh, pretty good um, starting out. Uh, I was born in Indiana, only lived there a short period of time until my mom uh, met my stepdad. They got married, uh, very financially stable. Uh, me and my brother, we had everything we wanted, but their relationship uh, was absolutely horrible. I think that was the hardest thing about uh, growing up was my stepdad, he uh, drank a lot, so they would fight a lot. And uh, it was pretty tough, it was physical. And me and my brother at a young age always had to uh, see that mom and, and stepdad, of course, got divorced. So now my mom was a single mother, raising two kids. Uh, we moved into Carlinville and she started taking to the drinking. And uh, I mean, drink, she drank a lot, it was, uh, it was rough. Just me and Brady would, I mean, there were times that my mom would be gone and we'd be just trying to get a hold of her all night. Just me and Brady sitting at home waiting for her to come home. And or we'd get on our bikes, ride around town and look for her. She'd eventually come home. And me and Brady would have to take care of her. I'd say it made me feel very, very angry. Um, very sad, not very loved. I, uh, and all in all, I was just a uh, very, um, uh, concerned for my mom. Um, just always scared if she wasn't gonna come home, you know? We didn't get along, we fought a lot. When I was in high school, she was always threatening to kick me out. I was always threatening to leave. Sophomore or junior, uh, and I was just had my brother and Cameron. My brother and Cameron were best friends, man, thick as thieves. And uh, they, had been, they invited me to church and uh, I'd go there every Wednesday with them, and uh, nothing really came of it until uh, Zach uh, Wyrock was the youth pastor when he, um, and he invited me to camp. I ended up going to camp, and uh, that was a real the first time that I really uh, felt the the presence of God, and uh, it's a very very good time. And I, and, I, and uh, at that time, like I didn't feel. Uh, uh, very loved, I'd say. And when I went there, just a bunch of people that I really, I didn't even know, like during worship, just came and just had their hands on me and were praying for me. And uh, it was just a great feeling to know that uh, so many people did care about me. I'd say my second mom, uh, Jamie Lewis, um, she was always there for me, my brother, because me, Cameron and Brady, now we're the best friends, so. It was, uh, it was very awesome to have her in my life, and uh, she's still in my life. And uh, nah, shortly after high school, I listed in the Marine Corps. As soon as graduation was over, a month later, I was gone. Um, didn't want to come back. Within a year of joining the Marine Corps, I was already set to deploy to go to Afghanistan. We were in the Helmand province of Afghanistan. It's nothing, it's just all sand. As soon as you got off the plane, it felt like someone was just holding a blow dryer in your face. And I was a Motor T guy. Um, we just would run patrols. It was a routine thing. We just do it every week, just running, running, running. And um, uh, ended up losing uh, a really good buddy over there. Um, I hate talking about it. I think the day this airs uh, is on the 17th, and November 18th will be his seventh year uh, that he's been gone. Um, that's, that's stuff I don't really like to talk about, but uh, it's my story, and God wants me to tell this story. Got home from Afghanistan, uh, thought everything was going to be fine, but I'm coming back to the real world from Afghanistan is a, a huge shock. Got home, I couldn't sleep. I just was always on the alert. Uh, and I just do, doing anything I could just to try to get sleep because I couldn't sleep. And I, uh, that's when I started my drinking problem. I told myself I would never go down that road. I'd never be like my mom or my stepdad. And, but it just started out with me. Oh, I, I'll just have a couple beers, whatever, to go to sleep. And I would do that and I'd start doing that. Uh, every night and uh, eventually it just got out of control. And eventually we went on my second deployment, which is uh, to Romania. 
It was just a crisis response deployment, just hang out in Romania because there was stuff going on in Ukraine and Russia at the time. I was constantly uh, in my Bible at this time in my life, um, constantly watching Tim on my iPad. I don't know, I just, I really couldn't really fully give himself, give myself to him because I was uh, just drinking all the time and uh, just my mind wasn't right. So I get out of the Marine Corps shortly after that deployment and uh, that's when I really, really started drinking. I was with my, now my wife at the time uh, and she didn't really think anything of it. She uh, just, Oh, he just likes to drink, he likes to have a good time. She didn't know the severity. If I had to do anything, I was, I had to, I had to drink first. It came to the point where she had, she started noticing. And so I was, that's when I would start hiding it from her and I would be lying to her. And I stopped for a good period and, but I was doing it by myself. I was doing it cause I was forced to, I still wanted to drink and that didn't last very long. I, switched, I started drinking again and uh, we really hit a rough patch, Lexi and I. When Novali was born, um, it was like in, on, it was just, I couldn't, I can't describe it, the, the feeling. That moment that I held her in my arms, I would say, I, so I told myself I was, I was done. I was dead set, that's, I was gonna be the best father in the world. Uh, uh, but that wasn't the case. Of course, I, yeah, I love my daughter, but I just couldn't uh, stop drinking and I was this close to, losing my wife and losing my daughter. And uh, this whole time I was still coming to church and uh, still reading my Bible, probably not as much as I should. I remember every time I'd step in those doors here, uh, God would just, he was, I could just feel it. He's telling me, go to the altar. And I just kept, in, and I wouldn't do it. I couldn't do it I was just too scared. Months went by and I just, he kept telling me go. I wouldn't do it. And uh, then I finally stopped drinking. I think it was maybe I was uh, two or three weeks in. Uh, I came to church and I didn't fail. As soon as I walked in the doors, come to the altar. And I was like, it's like, all right, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll try, I'll do it, whatever. Tim's preaching a sermon about next steps. And it's just all, I'm like, man, I have to, I have to go up there. And, uh, and still in the back of my mind, I, cause I'd say that every time as I, I'm gonna do it and I would never do it. Tim got done with his sermon. Uh, Eric came on, the first song that comes on is uh, Come to the Altar. And I was just like, man, I was like, he's, he's calling me out. So I, uh, that song was over. I uh, had to work up a bunch of courage. And that second song, I went up there and uh, hundred percent the best thing I've ever done in my life. I just wish I would have done it a lot sooner when he was telling me. Uh, it felt like I had, I mean, just weight from everything just, just lifted off my shoulders at that point. I was sitting up at the tower at work and uh, I was listening to 991 and they had a, there's a segment on there. You probably all know um, where they, people tell their stories and it just clicked in my head. Uh, that's what he wants me to do. But in my mind, I was thinking he wants me to go up on the like a stage or and talk on a mic. And I was like, man, there's no way I can do that because I'm freaking out right now, sitting in front of this camera. And uh, and then I get a call from Adam. I was helping my stepdad side in his bow, and uh, he's like, hey, would you want to tell your story? And I, I immediately just started freaking out and shaking. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, that's literally. Uh, what God wants me to do. And I'm, I want to say 117, 116, somewhere around there, days sober. That's all I'm focused on is being the best Christian I can be, the best husband I can be, and the best father. I couldn't picture life without my daughter. Uh, I'm very, very happy with my life right now. And I'm just excited to see uh, what more God is going to do in my life uh, and how He could work through me to help other people. I'm Brent Fish and this is my story.